So we made it to our fourth country of Slovenia. We're staying here in Peron for the next two nights. We had a pretty uneventful travel day until we got here. The parking situation in Peron is absolutely horrendous. Um, we actually saw someone crash their car trying to get into the parking spot in the parking garage. We booked this part of the trip pretty late um, because we actually ended up changing our itinerary. We weren't originally supposed to go to Slovenia on this trip, but um, we were getting a rental car, so we decided why not explore a little more while we had it. Instead of spending the two weeks in Zadar and then one week in Zagreb, we decided to just do one week in Zadar and five days in Zagreb. So we have nine days here in Slovenia. So because we planned it so last minute, we ended up booking all our accommodation probably about two weeks ago, maybe less than that. So there was nothing available. Um, we checked on Booking.com, we checked on Airbnb. So the place we're staying at is actually inside the old town which we don't like because there's not parking. So we did look up ahead of time where the parking garages were and where the public parking was. We tried both the garages. One was full, the one that was closest to where we were staying. Um, so we drove to the other one. So it was a good 15, maybe 20 minute walk. Um, and the parking garage was terrible. It's, it's absolutely terrible. Um, there were like eight or nine levels. You just kept going down and down and down and everything was full. The spaces were super tight, um, really hard to get into. We saw a lot of people while we were looking for spots that were just struggling to park in the spaces. They had people getting out of the car to direct them. We even saw a car crash into the wall um, trying to park their car, which was um, pretty crazy. Um, so we were a little bit nervous. Even making the turns to continue to go down another level, they were pretty tight turns. Um, and we don't even know how much it costs. Um, we were like so frustrated after spending like almost an hour looking for parking um, and then spending like almost half that time just looking for a spot in the garage um, that we didn't even like look and see how much it was because at that point like we had no other options. We needed somewhere to park. Um, and then we walked 15-20 minutes to this Airbnb which is just a studio. Um, so there's a double bed, there's a little couch that pulls out. Luckily, there was a crib. We found it in the closet. It did not say in the listing that it had a crib, so we were fully prepared to have the baby sleep in bed with us. But luckily, there's a crib. There's even a high chair and a baby gate. Um, but it's pretty small. Um, and the downside is there's no elevator, and we had to go up two flights of stairs to get here um, with all our stuff. But luckily, because of the parking situation, we did not take all of our stuff that we had planned. Um, in the parking garage, we kind of just rummaged through all our stuff and grabbed what we absolutely needed for two days um, and the stroller. We took this four and a half hour drive here and then once we got here, we had to deal with the whole parking fiasco and then walking all the way here, up the stairs. I had to call the host to get the check-in information because we didn't get that ahead of time. Um, so it's just like been an atrocious day, honestly. We're all like exhausted and frustrated. Um, but we're gonna go try to make the most of it because we have very limited time here. So we're gonna go head out and explore the old town. Not only to be starting the day, but the kids had a nap in the car, so they're not gonna be tired for bed anytime soon. And we also have no food. Um, there is a little fridge here, but we're gonna be in and out so much the next two days doing stuff all day that I don't think we're really gonna have any time for groceries and cooking. So we're probably just gonna eat out um, the next two days. So we're gonna head out, check out what's around here and get some dinner and call it a night and tomorrow we have a very fun day planned. That's a boy! It's boy! Hi, buds!
obviously don't do that. Don't do it, okay? Because okay. it's dangerous. Yes. Okay. So can you just stand behind these bars? You see these bars here? We gotta stay behind them, okay? And we don't step up here, okay? Okay, Isla.